when needing a round hole for a mailbox post, a fence post, or to plant some shrubs, a post hole digger can come in handy. Thanks to the Home Depot Seeds program, we're looking at the Husky 47 inch post hole digger. From the top of the cushioned handles all the way down to the tip of the blades, it measures 57 inches. You have about eight to nine inches that actually scoop out material. Material wise, the cushion grip is very firm and th not thick, but just hard. So it'll provide some protection, but it's not a very soft grip. The wood is of unknown origin. The finish is okay. It doesn't feel like it was smoothed out. It was sort of, sort of feels like they just kind of slapped on a finish. So in interest of increasing the longevity of this tool, you may want to apply some uh, sealer or polyurethane to protect the wood. You have a plastic spacer that controls how far the arms come together. And then you have what is probably a steel clamshell. No sharp edges on it. It's been rounded out. And then uh, there are removable fasteners. So should the handle fail, you can actually re replace those. The clamshell can also be separated if it needed to. Of course, it does come with a lifetime warranty, so you shouldn't have to do any of those things in case there is a failure. You just simply return it. I would have preferred fasteners that weren't protruding out that could snag. I will possibly uh, invert this around since the other end of the fastener is round depending on how it's set into the uh, handle. Speaking of which, uh, on the side of the handles, there are no markings for measurements, which would have been handy to know the depth that you were reaching. But obviously that's something one can do with a marker. To use this post hole digger, first thing you'll need to do is bring the handle together. And that spreads out the clamshell. When looking to dig a hole, first thing you should do is mark the area that you want to dig into. And we can do that just by using the blades of our hole digger. Then what you're gonna do is spread your feet apart so that you don't end up putting a blade in your foot. Make sure the handles together lift up and then drop down forcefully. Now you're gonna spread the handle which closes the clamshell. Lift the payload and drop off where convenient. Sometimes you'll get material sticking. You just have to knock it out. The advantage of using a hole digger as opposed to a shovel is that you're gonna create an opening that has depth and not a lot of width to it because it's gonna be the size of this and whatever you decide to cut out. Whereas with the shovel, you're always having to come in more on the side. So in a few minutes, we were able to dig a hole to put this stump in so it's down to the right height so somebody could sit here and actually have tea outside. Anyway, what I discovered about this is it takes a lot of upper body strength, which I don't happen to have anymore, but it knocked out this hole fairly easy, easier than I could have done with a shovel. So for that purpose, this is actually a pretty decent tool. Again, not thrilled with the quality of the finish. Probably needs some polyurethane on it. I might spray this with WD-40 or a Teflon spray next time so that it uh, releases the material quicker. 
But other than that, oh, and I would turn these fasteners around if I can so that they're not protruding and there's less of a chance of them catching on something. But it does what it's supposed to. It does come with a lifetime warranty. For longer life of your tool, don't forget to wash off any material that clings to the clamshell. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.